Hello and welcome back to Stubble O' Debbie, and this is episode 101 of Ocean Block. That's right, <laughs> last episode was episode 100, and I completely said it was 99. <laughs> I was lost, I don't know what happened. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go have a look at what I've been up to. Um, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. It hatched an egg. What are the odds? Okay, so, um, first of all, let's go look in on the reactor because I have it running. It's still running. Um, it's, it's using the fuel up. It still has yet to... Uh, lose water, even though my pipes back here are completely empty, and so are all of my uh, pumps. Oh wait, it looks like it has uh, the only bad thing about this is I have to spend like forty-eight hundred, no, forty-four eighty. At the tick just to get these pumps going um, so but it is producing uh, quite a bit more than that so it's producing 856,000 at the tick um, it appears stable it's gone through like almost a whole canister oh look it started draining now so <laughs> It looks like eventually it will run out of water. It just has a big enough reservoir in those pipes and in the pumps to almost last the whole tank. Uh, but I had a full tank, so I wanted to use it up, use it up, um, so I could be making more. <laughs> so I can't. I don't have it hooked directly up yet because I want to make sure um, this only has 132,000. It doesn't. Oh, it's not going because I'm out of power. Because these are using all the power. Yeah, it'll it'll run out of fuel hopefully before the water runs out. And then it'll uh, just shut off and the water will fill back up. <laughs> uh, I added a few more pipes over here, so I'm not sure if that's gonna gonna help with the water or not. Oh no, it's draining! <laughs> Hurry up! I'm pretty sure it. Plus, this is um, this is working like a champ. So if it overheats before it runs out, it should shut off anyway. I think another solution I might have is to make this a little bit taller, maybe one or two more levels. Uh, should lower the temperature, uh, which might not make it use as much water. Theoretically. Um, so I might try that out see if that helps uh, see if that helps with the water usage this like does seem a little bit excessive and I've watched direwolf's videos and I don't recall him having that many water pumps <laughs> like he has one and it works so I don't know what I'm doing wrong but I think if I built it up, uh, added a couple of levels, that would possibly um, lower the temperature enough to where the water can, the water levels can be maintained. Hopefully, there it goes. It finally shut down. Now these should kick back on. Oh wait, the water is still. Uh, filling up. Once the water is done, then it'll start making fuel again. Uh, I need to sort that out. Um, 
also, I wasn't having any luck with those heaters, so I put the advanced solar panels up here. And boy, did that make a huge difference. It jumped the temperature up to 1.65K, which is uh, a lot better. It's going faster than it can produce water, so there's zero water in there. And plus this doesn't have any upgrades or anything, but I think we're doing okay on the lithium. The lithium, yeah, 3.9k lithium. Um, I think, I think that's okay. Plus, um, <laughs> I was had, I didn't have any power at all hooked up to these, so I'm just using the advanced solar panels to power them. Um, and that's working so far. And I need to get some upgrades on this guy. No wonder he's like struggling. None of these don't have any upgrades. Um, let's see, what else have I done? Uh, I guess I could put some upgrades in there real quick. I don't know if these um, can use the gas upgrade. I guess this does speed, energy, muffling. So no gas. Um, what about you? Speed, energy, muffling. Okay. Let's just get them in there real quick. So I don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> I've done quite a bit of upgrades. Throughout the base. Okay, how are we doing? So this can run a whole canister without um, without exploding. <laughs> I'm very pleased with my progress. How much power do we have over here? Um, forty G. Forty G. That's pretty nice. Um, I thought uh, this doesn't appear to be coming out. The plug. Oh well, I'll deal with that in a little bit. Um, I thought about putting these on the reactor, but I'm like, what if I run out of power and then my pumps don't run? So I don't know. But I think this would probably be the best source of power for it. Uh, that way I can still be producing fuel. That would be beneficial. Okay, so what else have I been up to? Oh, I added a teleporter to the mob farm. Haha. <laughs> -ha. Um, I cleaned up this area a little bit. Oh, and look, you don't need the frames. You just need this teleporter box. Um, I thought that was uh, pretty cool. I kind of figured that out when my portal blew up <laughs> near the reactor, and it didn't need me to replace all of those blocks. Um, this is already... I hooked the uh, mob slaughter factory up here. I still have the mob crusher running. Uh, I don't think the mob crusher can kill it very fast. Uh, so both of them together seem to be keeping it clear -er, clearer. Uh, but it's producing us some pink slime, which we need. Uh, I don't care if it kills all of them, just uh, some of them, <laughs> just to get me some, some slime. I think I had enough, but uh, yeah. I have to be 
be very careful with um, how I can place uh, get the liquids out because you can't let light in there or the, uh, the cursed earth will die. Uh, so I had to use these crumbs to fill up the block, to take the stuff out and then take it out of there. So that seems to work pretty good. And then I powered it with a flux cell on the top uh, because I, I thought I was going to have to take items out of here, but you don't get items with this. Um, so I guess as instead of items, you get pink slime and liquid meat. Um, which my, my liquid meat is almost full, but I got a trash can over here. Um, so if it overflows, it'll just uh, destroy it. So we don't get it backed up or anything. Um, so that was pretty cool, I thought, getting this uh, set up uh, automated uh, because it also ties in with something else I've been doing. I also put a network receiver over here so I can whoop, <laughs> get access to all my stuff. Um, so that is pretty cool. Uh, so I think the most, oh, I had to set up um, my ether gas again. I guess there was some type of update that deleted the blocks uh, because they changed it. Um, so I had to like replace my drills and stuff in here. And I, I killed the wither uh, because he was he was up a block um, and, and kind of over. Um, so I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but uh, I set it up again. I think uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same. Only I have a storage bus and a network receiver up here to. Uh, let this be taken into the system over here uh, so that I could set up dissolution chamber automation. <laughs> here I got all the recipes so far. Um, I don't know that I need any more recipes for this guy. Um, so this um, Crafter is probably going to be good enough, but I can upgrade it if it's not, no big deal. Uh, plus, um, so I got, oh, this is so easy to set up with refined storage because it has a liquid with, um, with the recipes. So if you see down there at the, at the very bottom of the inputs is the ether gas. Um, when you set up the recipe over in the pattern um, the pattern grid, it automatically puts the the liquid, the fluid that it needs on the recipe. And the crafter over here can pull in items and liquids from the same side. So that is pretty sweet. And I didn't even configure any of these sides, um, and it just uh, it just works. Uh, I guess all of them come in and out. Um, just just perfect. So <laughs> I didn't have to do anything. I did give it some more upgrades. Now that I have the upgrades automated, I can upgrade all my machines. Um, and we might want to do that too. Uh, Let's see, processing. Ta da! I think it had a speed, so let's give it efficiency. Awesome. I love that. It's, the, it's still a little bit slow, even. Um, whoa, that's doing three. Huh? 
Is that from the processing? I wonder, can I plug another one of those in? Because I saw that one time I put it in there, it actually took more than one processing. Uh, so, I wonder, can I put it in there? Yes, but it doesn't give you any more. So let's see, if I take the processing out, uh oh, there you go. It does only do one without the processing. <gasps> that is super cool. That like triples everything. Oh, that is amazing. Sweet. <laughs> I like it. Um, but I got all of that automated. I was very happy that I finally got it done. <laughs> um, because uh, I set up some more latex production in here. Um, <laughs> just a little bit more. And they're using the acacia wood. I planted like four, four saplings of acacia. <laughs> it still has very little acacia in there. Um, so yeah, but we're getting, getting the latex. That is sweet. That is pretty darn sweet. Um, so I was, since I did that, I upped the production. I fixed this over here to where if it's, um, above 150 uh, or 15,000 millibuckets of latex, then it will turn the excess latex into tiny dry rubber. And then uh, the tiny dry rubber gets sucked in over here somewhere, I believe. Yeah, right there. I wonder if I'm getting backed up on this now. I might want to check. I might need upgrades for this. Oh, it's already got upgrades. Ooh. Oh, it doesn't have uh, speed upgrades there. Alright, let's fix that. Okay, so let's check our tiny dry rubber. Okay, so it's keeping up. It's keeping up, no problem. That's good, that's good. Uh, so, uh, plastic was one of the drawbacks, as you can see. I only have one plastic singularity, so this should help once it gets to um, I wonder why it's not. Do I not have the plastic singularity hooked up? Um, I thought I only had the six left. Uh, and I could probably do the capacitate on now that uh, the redstone is built back up. Yeah, I got like 33,000. Um, let's go ahead and make up some of those. Just gonna suck them into our reactors over here. Um, oh, yeah, that's used quite a bit. Um, sweet. Okay. So how much of that did it use? Almost half a stack. That's still not bad. Not bad. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been up to. Um, I still haven't done, I still have like half of a 
uh, machine in here to fill up with all of these matter condensers and cobble gins. Uh, I just haven't, I haven't done it. I've been working on other things. Um, so maybe I'll get to that at some point. Um, right now, uh, I am producing some of the singularities. I need to set that up too, where because we get to have two singularities already. Uh, so that's pretty cool. a lot of stuff and things um, we're still we're still not producing enough supremium uh, for this I think I only had like 55 earlier oh it's got up to 86 now uh, still that's <laughs> it takes two for one so it's only like 40 more uh, premium coals. Not a lot. Oh, so yeah, I got these machine frames all automated now. So that's going to be uh, super cool. I'm so happy that I finally got that done. <laughs> so, so happy. Um, I still want to replace this whole wall with um, with these storage blocks instead of uh, instead of storage drawers uh, to see if that helps with some some clearing up some lag. Um, it's it seems like it's doing a lot better since I took this other wall out. It seems like it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just imagining it. <laughs> um, yeah, so what are we gonna do? Um, we could. Oh, the raw neural processor. That I think was not automated because of redstone as well. Um, so I think I'll have. Uh, the diamonds, what are we doing on nether quartz? That'd be 4,500 nether quartz, 3,000 obsidian. Oh boy. Okay, we, we have nether quartz. <laughs> um, obsidian? Oh yeah, we got obsidian too. So, no need to worry about that. Um, I believe I planted some obsidian in the botany garden. Um, here's where I planted the acacia and a little bit of birch just so we could have it coming in. It's all oak. Um, ah, there's the obsidian. Yeah, I got this back wall for obsidian. Uh, so it looks like that is doing well for us. <laughs> I might need to um, might need to think about storage for that but I don't know I'm not having any storage problems um, I only have a hundred and eight thousand over here I don't think I have obsidian stored anywhere so it's just in the system <laughs> so just 30,000 obsidian just chilling there Okay, so we could totally set that one up. Uh, let's refine 
obsidian, we want a raw neural processor one. Now let's go ahead and set that up. Let's take something off of one of our boxes. So that's on level three. No, that's on level four. I forgot. <laughs> um, I'm tempted to build another one of these um, because my carrots, now that I guess all of these have filled up their buffers, my carrots have started going up again. So I've got like 95,000 carrots. Um, so I think I could use some more. And, uh, yeah, I love my little Herculean storage is empty. Um, but let's go what we're here for. Do what we're here for. Which one did I leave off at? Aha! There's the magical egg singularity. And this one, we want to do a raw neural processor. Can I not drag it over from there? Okay. Can drag it over from here, but not there. So we want this to um, emit a signal when under the amount. So this will start, do I have any raw, okay, let's go ahead and make one, oops. processor uh, put you in there um, want you to only work with the redstone signal and I guess I could use a crafter in that No. Oh, you can't. You can't put it in there. Okay, so I need to have a requester requesting raw neural processors then. And that is up on level two. I think I've got some back here that I could have room for. Is that you? Yes. So I can request 1500 of you. Let's go see how it's working. Possibly be working on something else. Question mark. Oh, the tesseracts. The tesseracts. It's almost done with the tesseracts. Um, machine doesn't accept items. Uh, it's possible it requested so many that's, that it got backed up over here. So there's only... Oh, yeah. Oh, and I made it uh, use a buffer over here. Uh, because it, it used up all of my enderpearls and I needed some enderpearls. 
so um, so it won't uh, eat all the interpearls. It only works with the signal. And I've got um, got a little detector back there uh, that will lead 1,500 interpearls. So once it hits 1,500 interpearls, it should start producing again. Whoo! Uh, but it is almost done because check it out. It's got 213 tesseracts in the system and four tesseract singularities. Uh, so it's it's been working. It's been working. Getting all the things. Um. It that that this is set to go off once the HDP sheets reach under 2,000 uh, and then it'll start producing them again so that's pretty cool oh it's so loud I kind of like all the noises though because it lets me know when things are working <laughs> it's when it goes quiet that you need to worry because things aren't happening okay so um, Let's go ahead. Oh, look, it already made the raw neural processors. Why isn't it? Why isn't it producing? Why isn't it sucking them up? Did I not set it up right? It's, it's still emitting the signal only work with the redstone signal importing oh what did I I'm not supposed to put this here this is an importer <laughs> Um, is the exporter back here? Okay. The exporter is where this needs to go. No wonder that wouldn't work. Uh, only work with the redstone signal. So now, now it's doing its thing. It's already got 1500, so it should be making, yeah, it's making a similarity there. Nice. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. So it's got this processor. The singularity being processed. I want to watch it. I want to watch it. I can't help it. I like to see things. it's going it takes it longer to <laughs> to make the singularity than it does to fill it up again okay this is working and it should shut off all on its own um so we can take this one off hey nice i still need to do something to get dimensional shards um there are several like quarries I can use, I guess. Uh, we have the vacuum tube singularity to set up. The singularity singularity to set up. We can do that one now. That would be easy peasy. Um, so look for singularity singularity singularity. And if there's or only work when under the amount. And then I need to set it up back here at the exporter. It's been a while since I messed with this, so I wasn't. Uh... Oh, look, my caps lock key is on. Alright, 
let's see about getting this. Are you coming in? You are. It's already made one. That is super cool. Um, and it, it, you can see it's making the singularity. Uh, so take this one off. See, that was easy peasy setup. Um, Wyvern Energy Core Singularity. We got like 500 of those. We just need tons of redstone. I thought draconium was the hang up for this, but it's not. It's redstone because it takes four blocks of redstone for each one. Uh, so <laughs> that's so much. That's 36 times 1500. Uh, that's a lot of math to do in my head. Um, I guess if we did 40, uh, 40 times 1500, that would be 3,000, 6,000. 60,000 so we are not there yet we need more redstone um, but we do have 500 of these guys so we don't need that much 60,000 redstone per singularity I need more redstone because um, I'm not bringing enough in uh, I have the sluices going Uh, dude, just so you know, these are turned down. <laughs> this, this sound is so intense that I have it turned down for the, um, what is it, bio, yeah, it's down to 50%. I might need to put that. It's, it's very intense, um, so that's not as loud as it, it should be, <laughs> but I don't want to turn it off because it's kind of cool to hear it, but it, it is very, very intense. Um, so what am I do? Oh, we could set up the capacitator. We should have enough redstone for that one. Yeah. So let's set up the capacitator and get those done real quick. All right, so we need to do capacitator singularity. What is in capacitor? There we go. Ooh, it's less than four. All right, now I need to get a capacitator. I'm so glad that you can do that with from the NEI, JEI, um, because I would have to go get a capacitator and bring it over here, and it would get energy in it, I wouldn't be able to use it. I guess for the capacitator. We can do that. For sure. Um there. Now let's go check and make sure it's working right. 
Also, dude, I would totally want to make my new armor because I think I can make it. Um, I definitely want to make sure I get that done. It's still empty, uh, but it's possibly starting since it's making the tesseracts. Uh, okay, let's just leave it. Uh, we'll come back and check on it later because I want to check out this armor. Um, level two should do it. Let's go into our system and check out Mecha Suit Helmet. What all do we need to make this? We need uh, netherite. Oh boy, uh, our polonium induction cells, sheets, control circuits, um, which. Oh, I didn't automate control, ultimate control circuits. Oh, I'll have to do that. Uh, so that's something we might want to automate. The ultimate control circuits and the basic, and I think I already got the basic induction cell. Yes. So we need to get the ultimate control circuit. Yes, so I already have the other steps. I had to make another netherite crafter because this one is almost full now. And I'm trying to put stuff for... Um, for all the singularities in here to help automate all of those. So, um, I guess I could throw that one in there. But this isn't for singularity, so we'll just leave it in there for now. Alright, so I think I'm going to need a diamond suit. Diamond? Oh my goodness. Look at... <laughs> my diamonds got destroyed. Holy cow. The raw noodle processors ate my diamonds. It's okay. It's okay. We can afford this. Um, boop and a boop. So I'm assuming that I'll need. Oh, what did I do that for? I meant to clear it. Okay. So now we need netherite. Um, I think it's only one per. It's only one per. But I need to go to level one to do this. Netherite boots. Breastplate. Helmet. Legs. Ooh. Hey, cover me in debris. Um, level two. What is that? Get a full suit of netherite armor. Awesome. And now we're going to turn it into something else. <laughs> okay, let's get the. Suey, like a suey. Um, can I just just control click to make that? Oh! Now we got more things to play with. Um, control click. Oh boy. If each piece needs power.
There we go. Oh, this is so exciting. And a boom. Yes. <laughs> okay, now, um, I believe I read that this also counts as like a scuba suit, I think. Um, somewhere I read that. Is it, um, I don't think Mechanism has the... Or is there, um, maybe it's a module that does it. this because we have the auto feeder um, on the uh, the draconium chest piece so and how does this work uh, how does this work I don't know oh look strange things are happening <gasps> It's got a little heads up display. It kind of moves around and jiggles. That looks kind of cool. Um, it's got a little compass in the bottom and uh, our location. Oh, that's pretty sweet. I like it. Shows what uh, the durability is on each piece of armor. That's kind of cool. Alright, so what do we have? We don't need this one. I wish there was a... I guess we could mark the ones we want. We don't need the jetpack unit either. Uh, because we have the draconium chest piece. Vision enhancement unit. Brightens the surrounding environment, allowing the user to see through darkness. So that's pretty interesting. You can get four of them. Uh, but how does this work? Uh, hold left shift for installed modules. Since I don't have any installed modules, uh, now what do, how do I insert the modules in there? Is it uh, is there a um, a block that I need to craft to do that? Like. Um, you know, like for the uh, the mystical agriculture stuff, we needed the tinkering table to insert things into. So uh, I wish there was like some in-game documentation for this so I could uh, find out. But I guess let's. Let's find out the ones we want. Uh, vision enhancement unit. Uh, so this would be a maybe. So let's go ahead and put it over here. We can take this off. And how about our capacitators? Capacit Is it? Oh, look. No. It still hasn't started with the capacitator. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to look into that some more. A uh, solar recharging unit. That could be interesting. That could help with our power usage a little bit. Um. Why didn't it go? There we go. A 
attack amplify. I don't think that would go with the suit. That might be for the tool. I know there's a tool. Um, which I might make. What is it called? It's called a mecha tool, I think. Mecha tool. Yeah. Um, so we need a configurator and an atomic disassembler. I have a configurator. Will this work as a configurator? That would be cool. Um, so we need a, an atomic disassembler. there and I can always make another one if it doesn't count as one. What? Oh, it needs the... <laughs> what did you do? What did you do? Um, where is it? Then, unit, and then we could use this, I think, I think we could put it in there. Uh, you can put in different modules to make it do different things. So yeah, let's add that to our list. Hydraulic propulsion unit allows the user to both step and jump higher. See, I don't like the step assist. I even went and took my belt off <laughs> uh, because I got sick of always jumping up on things I didn't want to jump up on. Uh, so I took that off. So I don't think I want this. Although jumping higher would be cool because you have to jump in order to do that, um, but you can't really separate that out, I guess. That's kind of cool. Increases the user's sprinting speed. Let's look at that one. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, so we wouldn't need to carry around the, um, the Geiger counter and we'd get a nice little heads up display. Okay, this I think is for the tool, which would be cool to have. I don't know how many um, different units you can put in each one. There's a limit. Ah, that's what it was. Uh, uses electrolysis to create breathable oxygen from water. So, um, yeah, that would be pretty cool. So we wouldn't have to worry about breathing underwater anymore. And allows the user to defy gravity. But I can already fly. Um, does that take? It's like, oh, it takes a lot of different things. Whoa, that's pretty expensive. A vein mining unit. See, this would be pretty cool for the tool. Um, I don't know how it's gonna work since we already technically have vein miner. I don't know, but I want to play with it, <laughs> so I'm putting it on there. A farming unit, yes, I would definitely like that for my tool, so I only have to use one. Oh, I wonder if this will work with, since that's from the same mod, 
um, as uh, my teleportation devices, if this will work with it, I don't know, but I want to find out. So let's add that one. Um, I don't know what that is. if you're taking damage in one piece of armor it would draw power from the other ones that aren't getting uh, damaged to balance it out I guess um, which, which sounds cool but I have um, I have a lot of uh, the power being wirelessly transmitted, so I don't think that would be something to add. Oh, increases maximum energy capacity. That might be good. Uh, so let's try that one. Um, I don't know that I want that on my tool. It might be something that we could use situationally, but not something I would want all the time. Oh, yes, we want the radiation shielding unit. Provides thick radiation proof metal plating to any mecha suit armor piece. Yes, because without a hazmat suit going over to my reactor, it's going to be deadly. Um, so we definitely want that one. And I guess that goes in all pieces of armor. Okay. Oh, this would be cool um, because then I could take the magnet out of my inventory and free up an inventory slot. So yes, I would like that. Inhalation purification comprise a miniature electromagnetic field around the breathing apparatus for many selected potion effect types. I don't know. that that's something I would need. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> I am going to um, do some research into how I install these things. Um, let me see if I um, hold it. Can I right click? That just puts it on. <laughs> um, shift. What if I shift right click? That puts it on. What if I just plain? Ah! Just plain right click. That puts it on. Okay, so there must be some type of block and mechanism. Mecca. There must be some type of block that allows you to um, add these units to to your armor. Possibly. What if I typed in Mecca? unit installation um, I just don't know what it would be called um, well let's make one and see what happens let's make the, 
um, which was the one that the radiation shielding. Let's make this. Uh, first, we need to teach it to do module base. Let's go ahead and teach that. Radiation shielding, module base. Look, that takes HDPE, 10 ingots, and bronze nuggets. Ooh, I don't know that my system knows how to make bronze nuggets. to do the block of lead too. Teach that. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so I should just be able to control click. Boom. I am missing bronze nuggets. Okay. That's what I was afraid of. So what if I right click this, shift right click, what if I click it on there, no there's got to be a device of some sort that allows you to modify these things. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and call the episode here, look, my armor is transparent. Um, that looks kind of cool. <laughs> anyway, um, how is your mecha suit working for you? Is it awesome? Um, <laughs> let me know down in the comments. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.